okay guys and uh, we are talking about different types of processes or techniques using the precipitation of antigen antibody complex now in this video we'll be talking about another concept it is called the immuno electrophoresis now we all know i guess you all know what is electrophoresis electrophoresis is the movement of any molecule macromolecule uh, through uh, it's, it can be protein it can be dna or rna whatever it's a movement of the molecule using the voltage or using the different uh, what you can say current simple using current so now if we look at this immune electrophoresis that means we are talking about an immunological complexes that means we are talking about antigen antibody complexes which will migrate through this through a solid matrix using electricity because that is the electrophoresis so if we look at the slide say this is a slide and onto the slide what we are having we are having say in this case we are we just put uh, we need to have a solid matrix so this is the top view of of a slide now if we uh, make a side view of the slide what will it will look like it will look simply like this so it's a side view of the slide okay now what we need to do we need to have a solid matrix because slide is uh, made up with glass we don't want this so the solid matrix is provided by simply put agar agar solution onto it because agar is a solidifying agent so it will be solidified so let me draw here the agar solution here it is and we also put the agar solution throughout this place onto this slide okay so after putting it so we make the solid matrix after making this matrix what we need to do we need to make a well at a particular position it is called a well now the well uh, is simply by creating by simply making a cup here so you just uh, take a type of say a puncher and punch a hole onto this solid surface so that we get a well like that so we get a well in this case okay now after getting the well what we will be doing here we will be adding the constant the antigen in this particular place okay so we can use antigen in this particular place onto this well after placing antigen onto this well or you can say it's a mixture of antigen so antigen 1 antigen 2 antigen 3 it's a mixture of antigen or maybe it's not only a mixture of antigen it can be antibody antigen and any type of components of serum so uh, instead of only antigen we can add serum also in this case we can add serum also so it's a mixture of components we can add here after placing this mixture of components because we know the electrophoresis is a technique of separating components right because electrophoresis can separate components we all know that so that's why if we put the mixture of components we can separate them using electrophoresis after placing all of them what we do we just put it into the electrophoretic chamber as this all these components we think about all these things as a negative charge so we put negative electrode at this point and a positive electrode at this point and we want the flow of this particular complex into this direction from negative electrode towards the positive electrodes so we apply the current so we apply current here and they will have a flow from negative electrode towards the positive electrode okay so during this process what will happen this components some of the components will come here some of the components will come here say come here some of the components will come here and here so here it is the distribution of components depending upon their charge uh, is formed in this particular location like that this this places so they have distribution of the components depending upon their charge using this electrophoresis after the electrophoresis is done we just take it out and what we make we make a trough here we make a trough at this particular point throughout this place trough means as we make the wells using a puncher what we can do we just slice this part of the section out of it so this background is simply we are having the glass slide no longer this particular region is no longer having any agar so we just take out the agar by making the cut just of this size so we have a groove right so every groove it is called trough 
non to this trap will load antibody antibody of our choice antibody of our own interest so we'll provide the antibody so let us take antibody and we provide it so here we have the antibodies one type of antibody only and here we are having the mixture of antigens now after putting antibody here we set this whole um, setup for the incubation for overnight or 24 hour incubation and what we need for this incubation period is simply the diffusion of antigen and antibody because we know diffusion creates an important role for the precipitation because in this agar throughout this agars because agars are having holes through the small pores of agar antigen and antibody can diffuse can move and they can meet with each other now once we are having higher concentration of antibody and lower concentration of antigen the bond will be weak so we won't find any kind of precipitin line very few very very light uh, precipitin line if we are having less amount of antibody and higher amount of antigen again we are having a weak a uh, kind of precipitin line but if we are having both this thing antibody and antigen concentration are equal in all these cases so if it is equal in nature then we get a strong signal and a precipitin line this is the concept so as these antigens are moving and antibody is moving in the opposite direction they start to find their region so here this antigen is moving and also this antibody is moving and then they form a precipitin line suppose this part so this kind of precipitin lines are formed in, in having the structure like this so by looking at this kind of structures once one can tell the type of antigen they are dealing with master immunologists can by looking at this simply they can tell yes these are the type of antigens that are present now for example if we take serum of a normal human being and look for the precipitin lines using several different antibodies we get this kind of patterns we save the picture of those patterns in our hand because those are defaults now suppose we are having a diseased person we take up the serum of the diseased person and we load this uh, serum here instead of this known antigens a known serum or normal serum then you look for this type of pattern now if we are having different type of patterns those pattern can tell us that there something is wrong is going on inside this process is again a qualitative process i have forgot to mention that uh, uh, the process we have already discussed rid or radial immunodiffusion is also a type of uh, it's a quantitative process but in this process is a qualitative process because we cannot tell the concentration of these antigens by looking at this kind of precipitin lines but what, what we can tell so this is called the precipitin line ppt means precipitin here so it's a precipitin line now by looking at these lines we cannot tell the exact concentration of these components but what we can tell is that is there is something some problem or something new by comparing it with the standard normal person serum okay and also by using this technique we can isolate the mixture of components so it's another important part if you have a crude mixture of everything we can just separate out using this technique and once after separating those technique the them out we can uh, just use this diffusion method to get our desired result okay so this is a process of immuno electrophoresis and this is used in many uh, disease uh, treatment and diagnosis centers okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you